uh, differences you see between the Lions last year and as you prepare for week one? Yeah, completely different football team. Um, you know, I feel like they the last half of the year kind of came into their own with their identity and how they wanted to play offense. And um, big time challenge for us. They got a really good old line, quarterback's a good player, and they got some skill guys. So uh, we got it cut out for us. We got to play good football to give our chance, give our team a chance to win. What do you think is going to change the defense? Not much. You know, just it was good to add him, you know, to the unit, to that, to that entire room, and really like his skill set and the, the player that he is. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing him, you know, mesh with, with our defense and hopefully make some plays for us. About, and how do you go about acclimating him to the defense and, and getting him ready? Good question. You know, it, like we talked about, everybody's a little bit different with that. Um, you know, DK and D Will are obviously spending a little more time with him to try to get him caught up. And, um, you know, but he's, he's very smart, he's intelligent, uh, his skill set fits to what we want to do. And when he's ready to play, he'll play. Jonathan, when it comes to uh, self improvement from year one to year two, what was the primary focus for you? Um, for me, just I, th I think uh, <laughs> a lot of things it would take us too long to, to go over. But, um, you know, just trusting the players a little bit more, you know, and say, hey, this is this is how we're going to do things. And this is the job description. It's very clear. Here's a standard that we want to do. And um, from my standpoint is being comfortable with our guys and letting them go play fast. What was it about um, CGJ that made you think that he could um, play C do C J. What is it? I don't even know. He hasn't even told me. Um, just you know, looking at his tape, you know the skill set that he brings, and he he basically played a lot in the slot, but he has played safety before. But you know what we've talked about a modern day safety is doing it all. You know, coverage ability, being able to play in the box, having range, playing post close, post open, covering, tackling, communicating, being smart. So. Um, I feel like he's going to integrate well into the into the defense. T.J. Hawkinson's back for them this year. He had a pretty good game against you last year, and I guess a lot of tight ends did. Do you feel like you shored up that kind of you know guarding or defending tight ends in space this year with the new linebackers? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of that's predicated on call. You know, where certain times people that are on them have help, and certain times when people are on them they don't have help. So I think it's just executing the call when guys know. Um, when they're matched up on them, how to defend them, uh, where to be strong, where they're strong, and use their help accordingly. You talk so much about secondary, how much of it's trust and communication. You have just one D-back, starting D-back, back from last year. So there's a lot of new pieces. They didn't play together a lot in the preseason games. Uh, is that going to be a process to till they get to the point they need to be at? Yeah, good question. I mean, that, 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 that typically takes some time, but the NFL, there's not a lot of time, you know, so... Um, I feel good about where that room is at, you know, when you add, you know, new pieces that but they can they can think and process and they're smart. Once they understand the why, then they just need some time on task to plan with each other. But, you know, going through camp, uh, OTAs in camp, I like where that room's at. And then the addition of 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 uh, Chauncey, um, you know, they're getting him caught up to speed as well. And, and I think it'll pretty it'll be pretty seamless. I know you mentioned Denard and, and DK, but are you more discerning at that position because of your background? Mm. I'm discerning at all of them. Um, but I, you know, I think the we got excellent coaches here, and um, I trust those guys fully to get done what we need to get done with all the players. So uh, when I have to interject a little bit, I do. That is my baby, but I feel really comfortable about not touching that room because of the two coaches that we have. As, as far as Chauncey, like integrating um, into the defense, learning the new defense, like how quickly can he learn something like this? You know, coming from uh, you know a totally different system in, in such a short. Yeah, time. it's a little bit of a case by case basis, but just like with all our new guys, you know, these guys have all played football before. It's not you know rocket science. You hear me say that a lot. And, they, and really the, the newest thing is for those guys is just the verbiage. Like, hey, this is, you've played this a million times, but this is the verbiage that we use. This is the calls you have to make. This is your body, your body positioning, where you need to be. Um, so it's just really from a, from a verbiage standpoint, communication standpoint within the scheme and the defense, and then understanding how he fits into all the calls. Earlier you mentioned uh, when he's ready, he'll play. Is there a chance he's not ready? And is there a chance you'll have to limit his role based on 
Yeah, so we just see how the week goes. You know, that's like with all our players. You know, we just kind of figure out as the week goes on, hey, you know, this guy's ready to play or this guy's not, and, and we kind of just go from there. But that's kind of a daily, you know, check-in for all of our guys, for all of us to say, hey, you know, let's, let's put him in or let's hold him. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little different with him, though, right? I mean, do you have benchmarks he has to hit to, to know those things? Yeah, execution benchmarks in practice. So um, when he's, like I said, when he's ready to play, we'll put him in there. In your experience, JG, I'm sure you've had other players you had to ramp up pretty quickly. Is there sort of uh, a limit to how much you can teach somebody in, say, a 10-day span? I know you say each player is different, but mm -hmm. is there sort of – you can't have everything. Yeah, that's right. You're right, John. You you know, you um I think from the standpoint of once once he gets something, like any player, once once he gets a concept and gets a call, then you move on and you see, you know, there will always be sticking points of, oh, uh, you know, there's a lot of adjustments in this call. Maybe we steer clear of that one. Or, hey, we know we're going to need this call. we got to learn this one. So certain calls are a little bit easier than other ones. And it's just, you know, you just got to kind of your instincts of being a coach, hey, that he's ready for this or he isn't ready for this. And then you make the decision and go. So what's your comfort level with, with Kayvon, with Avante, if he's got to play some safety, with Reed, uh, if those guys need to play some Very snaps? comfortable. Very comfortable with that whole room, excited about that room. And um, anybody that's up on game day, I feel good about putting in the game. That said, with Anthony Harris, what, what happened there? And how, how tough is that to lose someone that you know, pros, pro, this late. Yeah, I mean, you guys know I love Anthony, and he's done a great job for us and helped us a lot last year. Um, but when we had the, 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 the chance to add Chauncey, that's what we decided to do. And, um, you know, that kind of went into the decision of, of letting him go and wish Anthony the best, but feel really good about that room. You think about how uh, Fletcher approached this offseason um, after getting cut and having uh, you know, the only thing I know about Fletch is he comes in here and works, and he's the standard of effort and how to practice and play. So, you know, and that's why he's one of our captains. So uh, I love where Fletch's game's at right now, and he's going to be a, you know, a huge part to this defense. I'm curious to learn about your team getting to see them play. Say it one more time. I'm most curious to learn about your defense getting to see them play. You know, just like we kind of talked about, I, 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 you know, it's, it's uh, you're excited for week one. We, you know, they all count the same. All 17 games count the same. But I always tell guys, you know, week one, you haven't played in a while, you know, when it counts. Um, I'm excited to see us go into – to to the to the game and like the head coach talks about dog mentality and see us you know kind of make some plays fly around and when when you know things aren't going our way how we respond and that's been a positive thing from our defense the entire training camp and um, just excited to go see him play and have fun. Did you, what amount and type of growth did you see from Jordan Davis and Nicobe Dean this summer? Uh, a lot, you know, just like all our rookies, it's a it's a big time, you know, learning curve for those guys, whether they, you know, played a similar way or didn't play a similar way. But the things that we identify with Jordan, hey, you got to get better at, he's gotten better at. The same thing with all our, our new guys and, you know, excited where they are. And like I said, like if they're if they're up on game day, we feel comfortable with them going in there and executing everything that they need to execute to help us win. Are TJ and Kaiser the clear top two, or will Nicole be rotated? Yeah, uh, I'm not going to get into who's starting and all that, but um, yeah, like th there's a very specific role for all those guys in that room, and again, we feel good about those guys in their roles right now. You were asked uh, earlier about, you know, going into year two as, as the coordinator. What, what have you noticed about Nick going into year two as a head coach? Uh, you know, he's, 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 he's a good football coach, man. You know, there, you know, I think, um, he's, he's the epitome of why, whatever we do, there's always reasons behind it and you can appreciate that. And whether you like it or not, there is a reasoning that he has behind how we practice, how we, you know, decisions we make with the roster with him and Howie for how he structures practice, how he wants us to play on defense. There's, there's reasons for all that. And I love the detail that he has when he has a thought or makes a decision that there is always a why behind it and it's very thought out. So trusting your, your players more, Jonathan, what, what does that look like? Uh, we'll come. We'll find out on Sunday, I guess, huh? <laughs> well, no. T let me. I'll, I'll answer that. Is, you know, um, 
I think letting them play a little bit more, you know, and not to say that we didn't let them play last year, but, you know, I, I told those guys, you know, they're, we got a problem solve and you guys got to think on your feet and, and get me out of trouble when a call is not ideal, you know, and that's what I think that our defense, the guys that we have right now have shown that through camp. And um, I just honestly just trust the whole room a little bit better. And part of that, you guys, is being second year in the system. You know, they've seen a lot of the things that we talked about last year not seeing. You know, and now they've seen some of that, and they can function on the move um, in between the whistles, which I'm really excited about. You talked about guys having different specific roles, and, and obviously you're going to be playing different types of stuff. How much do you think through, like, the mechanics of, of in-game getting guys on and off the field, and, and how much do you practice that? Yeah, we practice it daily, and that's a big discussion every week. You know, when you play – a lot of different guys and you're rotating guys and you're playing different packages that's always a thing that we talk about like is this feasible is it does it help our players um can i do it does is it comfortable for me and our players and uh that's always kind of a, a game by game case good What's question i would really like to see this defense better at than last season um probably take the ball away a little bit more um affect the quarterback a little bit more and be consistent, you know, because you guys saw there's certain games where we played lights out and certain games we didn't. So I would like us to always on defense, the defensive side of the ball, my responsibility is to make sure that the defense and the coaches, to make sure the defense is giving our team a chance to win the game. And i um, excited about that uh, opportunity and challenge. Thank you, Thank you guys. Appreciate it.